Hello, good morning. Welcome to Pandora's Box. My name is Pan. Today, I'm going to open uh, my first ever Flesh and Blood Welcome to Rave Booster Box. So my goal here is to complete a full set of uh, Flesh and Blood Welcome to Rave 100% through opening packs. And this is an unlimited box, uh, not the alpha boxes, unlimited box. And uh, to give you an overview of our task before the task before us, there's a total of 225 foil uh, non-foil cards and 211 foil cards that we, that we can collect, which makes up the total of 436 cards. Very straightforward compared to uh, uh, cards like compared to games like Magic the Gathering. Okay, Magic the Gathering is super, super, super uh, complicated. Okay, because they've got all the list cards, la, they've got all the uh, what, what what's that? They've got all the foil non foils extended art showcase. Oh, super super confusing. I really like it uh, with uh, Flesh and Blood. Is it a new even though it's a new game? Is that it's so simple, so much more simple compared to uh, Magic. Okay, let's open our first ever. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. Our first ever booster box. Let's see what's in here. Oop. Okay, looks nice. Are the packs all the same? Okay. So total, I think there are for 24 packs. 24 booster packs in every box. I've got pig trotters for hands. Okay, let me put them aside. Oh, oh okay. So these are, I think, oh, I, I, one, two, three. There are four variants. Four variants of the packs. Okay, one, two, three, four. Yep, correct, four variants. So these are all the heroes that you can use. Okay, 24 packs here. Okay, let's begin our pack opening. <laughs> Super excited. <laughs> First ever pack. Does it, does it feel a bit, a bit harder to open? Let's do this one here. So, okay, let's quickly go through the cards. Rhino. Eh? What is that? Oh, that's a two sided card. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, so okay, it's the same one. Yeah. So it's my first time opening. So probably I'll go a little bit slower. Slowly, slowly enjoy the cut. Enjoy the art. Wait, is this okay? So it's possible to get foil. Foil cuts in normal slots. Okay. So it makes it easier, I think. And okay, so right now all these are commons. Commons. Surging strike. Sharpen steel. This is also a common. That's a common as well. That's a common as well. T. Oh, T is T is the token. Right, that's the token. Eh, that's that's all common. Oh, this pack is all oh, that's the rare. So one, two, three, four, five. The six cut. Six cut. Oh, that's a majestic. Oh, I didn't realize. <laughs> this is a majestic. Six and seven cut. Okay. So the six and seven cuts are the ones that we are looking for. Okay. Let's put this aside. Maybe, let's maybe put the Majestics aside. Da, 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 let's maybe, where is it? Okay, let's put the Majestics aside. So these are the different card rarities. Common, rares, Majestics, legendary. Okay, let's go through this one again. Oh, <laughs> that's the token again. Okay, let me just put this aside. So the 6 and 7 card, eh? Wow, what? <laughs> nice, very nice art. Monster Scarf Oh, Ooh, this is super nice as well Scarf or Scarf Okay, let me see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Yeah, 6 and 7 That's a rare Another rare Okay Let me see, everything else is Oh, very nice, wow <laughs> Somebody <laughs> Okay, so 6 and 7 Yeah, everything else is common so the 6 and 7 card is the rare. Okay. Very very nice art. Okay. Very very similar. The art is actually very similar to Magic the Gathering. Very similar to Magic the Gathering. 
fantasy art a little bit with uh, a cross between the uh, uh, a little bit realist hyper realism okay but not too much still a little bit cartoony but very very similar to magic the gathering art okay let's go through this so this um welcome to ref is a new tcg by legend story studio uh, which is based in new zealand okay this is the one hey wait what's that okay the two rest overpower and oh look at that wow <laughs> Depec <laughs> decapitating kick <laughs> okay very nice i don't think you see this kind of art in magic gathering very very nice very interesting okay so uh it's a new card game so the way you play it is that you start with eight different hero classes okay right now they have eight for welcome to raf okay so this is one of the class i think right now a brute brute hero okay so uh you start with a hero and a weapon card so your objective right is to reduce your opponent's life total to zero so your opponent's life total right okay let's see that something here let me show you where was where was the right now card where was the right now ah uh, yeah so you think yeah so you start with a hero card like this so your opponent's life total is over here and this is your intellect okay your in this your intellect is your um hand size it's your hand size so what happens is um at the end of every turn right you draw <laughs> okay okay the the art style is a little bit different for this one but this is fun so it's this little bit of um i think printing is a little bit of printing printing error here some sl very very slight scratches okay so the print quality is a little bit probably not as good see yeah only for these two cards the rest are okay do you see the scratches from here yeah and this card the art is a little the style is a little bit different but very fun looks fun as well okay so uh the okay so i was talking about the intellect right the intellect is your hand size so your objective is to your objective okay is to uh uh reduce your opponent's life to zero and you have to your intellect is your hand size where you have to draw at any of you only draw cards right at the end of your turn and you draw until uh the your intellect for example let's say intellect is four so at the end of turn you draw cards until you have four cards in your hand so this is how it goes and uh, you can only do only one action per turn okay so some of the cards are action cards okay so uh, token again <laughs> some action cards and you can only play one action button okay unless there's a go again like this one go again so this is a generic action card this attack card it says go again okay so uh there's also resource cost so these are all the resource cost this is the resource cost i think this is the resource as well this is a resource that's a resource cost so uh you have to pitch a card right to use a resource and the resource is a little bit like um wait, that's it. okay two rares here so the the resource is a little bit like mana but you can only use it once however the pitch cards that you use right goes back into your deck so uh goes back in the deck at the end of your turn so every turn starts with an attack and your opponent can react to this by playing uh, defense cards and then you can counter using uh, attack reaction cards then your, your opponent can counter counter using defense reaction cards um all this happened on a uh, chain link okay all this open on a uh, happen on a chain link um, a chain link right is similar in concept to the stack uh, in magic the gallery so at the end of the combat chain the total attack is measured against the total defense to determine whether attack and that and how much damage the opponent takes so all the plate cards right go in the graveyard but pitch cards right pitch cards go uh, back into your deck so the gameplay for this one i have to say is uh, rather intriguing rather intriguing okay two rares again okay <laughs> there goes the hand <laughs> very very nice okay the gameplay is very intriguing so okay like if i want to compare uh, let's say let's say if magic the gathering is like playing an rpg where you get stronger and stronger turn by turn with uh, even uh, more and more powerful smells, uh, spells, bigger creatures, and increasing mana sources, right? Playing Fresh and Blood is like playing a fighting game, like um, Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat, okay? 
it is <laughs> so it's it's basically like one versus one you have to use moves your upper cuts your fireballs your jump kicks and all this um so it's it's, it's actually a quite quite a eh? what is this s means what super rare okay reckless swing oh <laughs> nice a lot of blood so i like i like art like this okay where they show lots of blood okay so the gameplay is pretty, pretty um, intriguing so it's a nice departure from playing magic the gathering it's a very very interesting um, gameplay design i can already see the a lot of the future possibilities okay with the new characters and classes and new weapons and also like for example what you see in fighting games nowadays like you've got um, um ultimate moves finishing moves uh, you've got uh, tech teams yeah tech teams as well yeah so lots and lots of possibility for the long term um, how do you say long term development of the game specifically the gameplay okay so far the art is pretty consistent except for a few like this one this one looks a little bit out of place compared to some of the other cards but other than that all pretty consistent all pretty cool what <laughs> what's he you think <laughs> this is super interesting you see you think it's opponent <laughs> it's like it's a carnival super super interesting it's very nice art as well very nice art let me see okay so some of the mm, okay very nice breaking skills flick flat disable okay those are the rest okay these two are the rest okay well i really really like this <laughs> well, this is the the opponent has been smashed with smithereens very very nice okay but i i think i do see quite a bit of um duplicates quite a number of duplicates it's a small set okay to be fair this is a small set only 225 cards and some of the cards are actually um are actually duplicated okay so like some of the cards they've got one resource two resource and three resources so basically there's three different cards but with only a one one piece of art as oh very nice singing steel blade <laughs> super super nice very very sweet let me put this aside okay i'm not sure i'm not sure what are the financial value okay i don't really follow them but um i guess i guess uh it is there's a lot a lot of people flipping flesh and blood right now it is, it is the in thing right now especially if you've got uh, alpha boxes okay if you manage to buy alpha boxes okay a few months earlier at the at the retail price 100 100 over dollars <laughs> you make a ton of money okay, which are the rest again okay, which are the i missed them again okay two rest again so so far only one majestic in the, one majestic in the box very nice so far only only one majestic in the box okay are we halfway through we are almost halfway through we are almost halfway through oh nice showstopper okay who is this nimble strike <laughs> that's really very very chinese very ninja style okay Bob. beat down a lot of wind oh another majestic okay second majestic a lot of wind okay that's a like a samurai rolling type of player okay sharpen steel <laughs> waifu okay waifu knight okay can't complain i like waifus i cannot complain so it's pretty interesting you look at some of the art here they show a lot of blood a lot of decapitation very very nice okay. um, magic used to do that magic but they don't do that anymore because probably I think maybe they want to uh, okay those these are the two rest probably they want to appeal to more <laughs> I don't think you see cards like this in Magic anymore okay they want I think probably they want to appeal to more a wider crowd maybe younger audience so they don't want to show some they don't want to cream or they want they don't want to come up with cards that are a bit too violent okay but I do think that it is a quite a waste okay. Because initially what attracted me to magic so many years ago <laughs> was the fact that they had demons and they had, you know, all this um, uh, sexual stuff. Not, not, not really sexual. Magic has never really been sexual. Maybe except for Liliana and, and Gang. But um, 
I do think that things are things like, for example, um, they were, I think Magic was really one, one of the first uh, games or really media, right, to showcase uh, pictures of like angels and demons and whatnot. And so that really attracted me. That really attracted me. But right now, okay, now Magic has gone uh, a lot more mainstream. So last time, uh, Magic just started. So I think it was still more geared towards Magic. Now it's a little bit more mainstream. It don't do, it doesn't, Magic doesn't do a lot of those very, very violent cards anymore. Okay. But, okay, Flesh and Blood, Flesh and Blood, there's a chance for you. There's a chance for Flesh and Blood to do that. Okay. So, mm, is that the first one I've got? Common, probably not. Let me see, rare and rare again. Okay. So we we get one foil card. Okay, that's a super rare, not bad. So we get one foil card every single pack. Is it one? Yeah. One foil card. And the foil is actually you can't really you can't really tell. It the foil is actually pretty pretty light. You can't really tell. Not like um let's say compared to certain cards like um what? Pokemon cards, yeah. Pokemon cards. Your holo rares, reverse uh, reverse holos and all this. <laughs> Pokemon Pokemon foils are, are super super over the top. <laughs> this is very oh, is this my first one? This looks like something out of um, Lord of the Rings. Okay, okay, what's oh nice, very nice. Okay. Smash Waifu Waifu Well, at least good thing about their waifus are that <laughs> they are fully clothed, fully armored. Okay. If, it, if, if this was in a Japanese anime style, right, uh, their waifu would probably be <laughs> wearing like armor, armor, armor that shape shaped like a bikini, right? Correct. Okay, nice. Okay, so far only two majestics. Is it only two, two majestic every box? Or is this a... Uh, <laughs> am I getting a dart? Okay, is it only... Oh, very, very nice. Razor reflex. I'm really enjoying some of the... Art. Oh, oh, look at that. I really... Okay. This is the art that I really like. Okay, sh come on. Just give me more violence, man. Just give me more violence. Violence, yes. Just give me more violence. Okay. Kick to the groin. Like, like for example, oh yeah, like this, you see? Like this, Dorothea. So their waifu are really, how do I say? More socially, politically correct. <laughs> More politically correct. If you get something that's Japanese anime, right? <laughs> what? Dorothea will probably be in a steel bikini. Okay. Scour the battle skate. Okay. But. Oh, another one, Enlightened Strike. Okay, my third Majestic, very nice. Okay, let's see how many Majestics we can get. Every box. I do see a lot, a lot of duplicates. Maybe, maybe, okay. Maybe I can finish more than 50%. I can complete more, more than 50% of the whole set uh, with just one box. Okay. Departure from Magic the Gathering. <laughs> Magic Gathering, so far I've opened almost 10 boxes. Collectors and, okay, for Zendika Rising. Right now I'm opening Zendika Rising at the same time. I've opened almost 10 boxes of Zendika Rising. Okay. Um, mixture of collectors boxes and um, uh, normal set boxes. And I'm, I'm almost, I'm only like almost, what, 70%? 70% through the set. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully I can get Maybe more than 50% uh, completion with just one box. Weapons, inviting blade, leg trap. Okay, lots of flying kicks here. So I think there's a ninja. Is that an, oh, a ninja? So um, lots and lots of flying kicks. You got a ninja. Did I miss any magic? Am I supposed to only get three? Am I supposed to only get three majestics? Okay. Young waifu. Okay. Last one. Four, five, six. Okay, that's all. No more no more majestics for today. Okay, very nice. Okay. 
waifu fully crop, fully armored. Flying kick to the knee, clone. Kake kake banshin no jisu. Okay, now, <laughs> now it's time to do the sorting. Brothers and sisters, please like and subscribe to my channel. To you, it's just a little click, but to me, right, it's the difference between being able to continue to leech off my parents while making content like this or having to go out into the world to find a real job. I'm still very young, I'm only in my late 30s, and I hope that I don't have to join the workforce so soon. So please, please, just move your cursor to the like and subscribe button and give it a little click. Every click will help to extend my runway a little bit longer. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Alright, okay, I'm done sorting out already. I'm done sorting. This is our first ever box of um, Flesh and Blood. Welcome to Rough. So, we start out from zero, and this is the result. Okay, so you can digest it over here. Total 49% completion. Okay, the breakdown is over here between the foil and non foil. So, 49% uh, completion for the, for the first box, I think it's pretty not bad. Pretty not bad. Compared to like probably magic, <laughs> it's it's a lot a lot cleaner, a lot a lot easier to keep track compared to magic. Okay, so we have forty nine percent complete. So I these are some of the cuts uh, left over. I want to quickly quickly give a quick first impression. Overall, I am a a little bit uh, underwhelmed by the set. Okay, because okay, so there's a lot of cuts that duplicate. Like for example, you see this page, huh? So these three are the same cards. These are the same cards. These are the same cards. Even though they are different, different uh, serial numbers and they have different functionalities. This one resource cost is one. You can um, resource cost is two. You can pitch one. Same thing. Pitch two. Pitch three. Uh, but the same resource cost. But the thing is that the thing is that um, all all of this, even though functionality in terms of gameplay, they are different cards. For a collector's from a collector's point of view, for me, these are like these are basically the same cards. Okay, even though they have uh, different functionalities in terms of gameplay, so I would much rather prefer if they have if, if each card is a little bit different. Like for example, this one, uh, stone wall confidence, confidence, right? Maybe or may, uh this this particular uncle over here can have can be a little bit more muscular. Okay, the higher pitch, uh, the higher power that it gets, so uh, make make it not so not so monotonous probably. You see, so like if look at all this, this rising knee trust. Okay, this groin kick, all three cards are the same, even though they are different. But from a collector's mind, from a art, from an art point of view, uh, it's not so interesting. So probably maybe if they want to do something like this, I can suggest uh, your you just. Make it more powerful. Make it make, just have a little bit more graphics. Make it more powerful, like what gachas do. Like for example, if you see uh, mobile games, that's what a lot of gachas do. You've got one star, two star, three star, two six star. So your star one star, it's it's a it's a big little, little guy with no weapons. Until all the way on these six stars, he's got all the shiny shiny weapons and it's muscular and all the all the all, a lot of blinks for the the difference between one one star and six star. So you can do something different. Otherwise, you see. It's like even though the set has got two hundred and twenty five cards, it feels like it's probably like it's only one third. It feels like it's one third the size because of all the duplicates that we get. Okay, even though technically they are not duplicates, so this is so far so far. That's my uh, first impression, overall first impression. But maybe uh, let's finish. Let's let's try to get all the cards here. Once we finish uh, collecting the set, maybe I'll give you all a quick. Uh, overview, quick, uh, not people, a proper overview, a proper review of the whole set uh, for what I think of the set so far. But uh, first impression so far, it's a little bit underwhelming. A little bit underwhelming. Okay, so um, let's quickly look at these are all the cards that we have. These are, these are all the cards that I have left over. Um, no rest, I think probably no rest. Some tokens over here and there. I don't think there's any rest at all. Okay. So I've got no use for these cards. I'll see how I can give them away. Um, please do uh, help me to uh, like and subscribe to my channel. This is Pandora's Box. I'll see you on the next opening. Bye-bye.